Hello everyone, if you're watching this video then you want to know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. First, let's go over the basics. The cube has six sides, all with different colors, and no matter what you do to the cube, the yellow will always be opposite of the white. The cube has three layers. The first layer, the second layer, and the third layer. Notice that there are three different pieces on the Rubik's Cube. The center piece tells you what color that side will be. There are six of these centers because there are six colors. The edge piece has two stickers and these pieces go between centers. This is the edge piece. It is going between this center and this center. The final piece is a corner piece. They have three stickers. They fit through three center pieces. This one, for example, is a corner piece because it has one, two, three stickers and it's split between one, two, three cores. Okay, now let's talk about all the algorithms. Instead of saying the word algorithms, I will be using a smaller word to describe algorithm, which is alg. There will be a right and a left alg. The right alg is forward, right, backwards, left. The left alg is forward, left, backwards, right. We're gonna, I'm going to show you one more time. The right alg will always be done on the right side of the cube, therefore done with your right hand. Forward, right, backwards, left. The left alg will always be done on the left side of the cube. Forward, left, backwards, right. Now, I'm going to scramble it up. By the end of this video, you should be able to solve a Rubik's Cube on your own. And please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Alright, now that the cube is all scrambled up, we're going to start off with our daisy. You need the yellow top, you need the yellow color, or the center, on the top, and the white center on the bottom. Now, they call it the daisy because it looks like the daisy, the, looks like the flower called the daisy. You need to get all these edges around the yellow with a white. So let's start. You have this white here. We, it can come up here in one move. And then, we, then you look around the cube for another white. We have one on the bottom. So we will flip it all the way up. You have another one on the bottom. So you will flip that one all the way up. Now you just need one more white edge piece to complete the daisy, which is the first step. I found a white down here, but if I turn it like this, I will mess up this petal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the first layer to the right. I'm going to turn the cube, and then I'm going to turn your front face clockwise. And then I'm going to rotate the first two layers to the right. I'm going to flip this here forward one time. And I have my daisy completed. This is the first step. Now, the second step is you want to get the crosses below the, the daisy. So I match up here, I have the red, I have the green solved, I have the orange solved, and I have the blue solved. In most cases, you will have that. You, it will all be solved. Most cases, an orange and the, um, most cases the color will be switched up and they won't be completely solved like I, like I just showed you. So sometimes you might have to take the two colors that are uh, mixed up turn them all the way down and then flip it actually let me show you okay let me take care of this here all right so let's say these the red and the blue are completely taken care of sometimes it might be the opposite color sometimes it might be the red and the blue mixed up it might be the red and the orange mixed up it just depends Sometimes you might get lucky and you might have all the crosses solved already. But if you don't, then what you need to do 
is leave the two crosses that are already solved, leave them alone. You need to take care of the, the, the green and the orange for right now. So you need to flip the green core or the green center and the orange center all the way down to where your rose petals or to where your daisy petals, which are white, are on the bottom of the Rubik's Cube. Now you want to switch this green that was right here to this green center to match it. And then you will turn it back up and you have the cross with your daisy still intact. Now you have a dot, not a dot, you have an edge right here and it matches up with this center. So you're going to turn it and you're going to flip it back up again. Now you notice that you have your cross on all sides of the Rubik's Cube. Now what you want to do is completely turn the white all the way to the bottom here. And when you turn all your, all your white to the bottom, it's like you still have your daisy on the bottom. It's like you still have your daisy, but except it's on the bottom of the cube instead of here. Now, you want the white here to remain on the bottom. And you want to find these little white pieces that are around the cube. Okay? Find one. Oh, look. Here's one right here. You have a white, a green, and a red. And it's already correctly placed in between these three centers. Or, I'm sorry, these three centers. You have the white, the green, and the red. It's correctly placed. Now we just need to do the right algorithm until this white piece is down here, the red piece is over here, and the green piece is right here. Forward, right, backwards, left, forward, right, backwards, left, forward, right, backwards, left. And you might have to do it multiple times just to get that white piece where it needs to go. That's okay. Sometimes you might get that white piece where it needs to go in just one move. Now you want to find another corner piece. White, blue, and orange. So I'm going to rotate the third layer until I match it up with its centers. I have a white down here, an orange here, and a blue here. I'm going to do the right alg until this piece, until this white piece here is right here. Forward, right, backwards, left. Another right alg. Forward, right, backwards, left. Forward, right, backwards, left. Notice that piece was just up here and now it is down here. Now we look around the cube some more to find another piece. It is already correctly centered with, their, with the correct centers. White, blue, and red. Now we just need to do the right alg. Forward, right, backward, left. Forward, right, backwards, left. Forward, right, backwards, left. That piece was just up here. Now it's down here where it's correctly need where it needs to be. You have the last corner piece down here. You have green, orange, and white. Now we just need to do the right alg until we get this piece where it needs to go. Forward, right, backwards, left, forward, right, backwards, left, forward, right, backwards, left, forward, right, backwards, left. And with practice, you'll get the left alg and the right alg, you'll get it and it'll come to you like a sixth, like a sixth sense. You now need, you need to get the second layer, now that you have your first layer, in the very bottom of the cube. You need to look for the edges. If they have a yellow on them, leave them alone. So we can choose any one of these edges except for this one. Because these edges don't have yellows, this one does. We need to align this, let's, um, let's do this one here, this edge. We need to align this edge up with its color. So here's the red. I need this edge to go here because the red aligns up with this one and the green matches this one. Now, I want this edge right here because it only has two stickers and I want to point this edge away from where it's going to go which is right here. I'm going to then do the right alg. I'm going to turn it and when I, you know, 
when you do um, when you do uh, your right alg, um, you're gonna do your left alg next. It's not gonna be a right. It's never gonna be a right right or a left left. It's always going to be a right left or a left right. It alternates. I think I'm using the right word. Um, you're going to do the right alg, which I just did, and then I'm going to turn it this way because I know that's where I need, I need to turn it to because I do the left alg on the left side of the cube. So now I'm going to do the left alg, which is forward, left, backwards, right. Now, that cube was just right here, or that edge, sorry, was just right here. I moved it to here. Let's look for another edge. This one right here. I got an orange and I got a blue. I have to align it up. And this red is over here. So I want to push this edge away from where it needs to go, which is right here. And then I'm going to do the right out. Forward, right, backwards, left. I'm going to turn the cube because I'm alternating from right to left and the left alg has to be done in my left hand or with my left hand. So I'm going to do the right alg forward, left, backwards, right. That cube was just up here and now it's down here. Now we need to find another edge. I have another edge right here. That edge needs to go right here. So this is the other way. Instead of turning it that way, now I have to turn it this way because I'm pointing this edge away from where it needs to go, which is right here. I'm then going to do the left alg, forward, left, backwards, right. I'm going to turn it this way this time because I'm going from left alg to right alg instead of right alg to left alg. Forward, right, backwards, left. I just move this edge piece to here. Now if we look around this edge piece is a um, missing one. Some cases you'll get this so um, uh, there usually is always a yellow right here but in, in this case it's right here. So we need to act like this yellow piece is an orange piece pretending. So we need to push it away from where it's going to go. We're going to do our right alg. We're going to turn the cube, alternate it to left alg. And then we just move the cube that was here to here so that we can use we can get this edge here. That cube was here but it was twisted. The blue was here and the orange were here. So now we're going to do uh, we're going to line this orange up with this centerpiece. The blue centerpiece is over here, but we need this edge here. So I'm going to point this edge away from where it needs to go by rotating the last layer. I'm going to do the right alg. And then I'm going to alternate from the right alg to the left alg by rotating the cube itself. And then doing my left alg. And if you look here, your entire uh, first and second layer are solved along with the bottom. Okay, some instances you might have the daisy already completed, which is the next step after, your, after getting your second layer. But most cases, let's pretend these aren't here. Most cases, you would just have this angle. At that angle, you would turn the two front faces to the right, and then you would do your right alg, and then you'll turn the two front faces back and you'll have your daisy. Sometimes you might not have any other yellow and you might just have this line. You don't want it horizontally, you want it vertically. And if it's like that, then you turn the two front you turn the two front faces clockwise to the right once. You do your right alg and then you turn it back. And then you'll have the angle. You won't have the cross immediately, but you'll have the angle. And then, like I so showed you before, that angle, you would rotate your two front faces clockwise and do your right alg and then twist back and you have your daisy. Now, you need to have these corner pieces matched up with their center pieces. 
And how we do that is we rotate the top layer like this across the entire cube to find this match. So this yellow, green, and orange matches up with this with their center faces. This cute this corner matches up with the yellow centerpiece, the red centerpiece, and the green centerpiece. This one does not match up. This one um this one here needs to be here and this yellow, red, and blue corner piece needs to be here. They they're they just need to be flipped. <coughs> And also, if the, if their corner piece is in the correct spot, if and is just twisted, that's just fine. That's the next step. Okay, now we just need to flip these two corner pieces. And how we're going to do that is you need um, you need the two that need to be flipped uh, to be on the right side of the cube. And then you're going to do your right alb three times: forward, right. Backwards, left, one. Forward, right, backwards, left, two. Forward, right, backwards, left, three. Then you stop, and then you turn it to this white piece on your left. It was just like solving the second layer. You were alternating from the right to the left, or to the left to the right alg. Now we're, we, were, we just did the right alg, and now we're rotating or not rotating, we're alternating to the left alg. So now we're going to do the left alg three times. One, two, three. Now, you should have flipped those corner pieces. So white, yellow, red, we need to adjust. It's in the right spot, it's just twisted, that's okay yellow, green, and red in the right spot just twisted and we have the yellow, green, and orange center pieces it's in the, the corner the corner piece is in the right spot just twisted that's okay and you have the blue and the orange uh, corner piece in the right center piece area it's just twisted now you're gonna you solve that step now you need to take this yellow and put it to the bottom now, you can choose any color you want to be your face now, just as long as the yellow is on the bottom. Okay, let's say I choose orange. Okay, we're trying to get, it was just like the cross when we were trying to get all the white on the bottom, but this time we're trying to get all the yellow on the bottom. So I have the yellow, the green, and the orange centerpiece where it needs to go. I have all the corner pieces where they need to go, they're just twisted. Now we need to get all the yellow pieces, the yellow on the corner pieces on the bottom of the cube. And how we do that is basically what we did to get all the white pieces on the on the bottom on the on the first couple of steps. So we're going to do the right alg until we get this yellow piece down here. It may take you one time, it may take you a little while longer, it just depends. The cube may be out of whack, but never let your thumb come off of this centerpiece, because this centerpiece is your face. We just move this piece, now the yellow is on facing the bottom. Now we rotate the bottom to where we have this piece right here on our orange to where our uh, to our face now we're going to do the right alg until this yellow piece is back where it needs to be on the bottom I, it's on the bottom it's just twisted that's okay now we rotate it and we do the right alg until this yellow piece is right here That yellow piece is now flipped around. We're going to do one last rotation on the uh, on the first layer. And we're going to keep doing the right alg until we get that yellow corner piece on the bottom of the cube. 
Okay. Now, we're going to match this up here like this. And um, now you're going to rotate it until it matches up. Some instances, you might have one side completely covered. You might have uh, all edges mixed up with different colors. That's okay. Sometimes, um, well, if you have all your edges and they're different colors, then um, you want to, you can choose any color you want on the, on the cube, any color except for the yellow or the white. And let's say I want to do the green, right? I would do the right alg once, I would do the left alg once, and then I would do the right alg five times, and then the left alg five times, and you should have a solved cube. If it's not solved, do not change your face. Do the right alg, do the left alg once, and then do the left, the, I'm sorry, the right alg five times, and then do the left alg another five times, and you should have a solved cube. Now, in instances like these, when you have a whole side um, solved, that solved side will be your face. Okay? You cannot choose any color you want. The only, the only time you can choose what color you want is to be your face is when all the edges are not solved. Okay. And you want the yellow up and the white down. So, since I have one side, one side of the cube solved, I that will automatically be my face. So, I'm going to do the right aug once. Then there's no rotating the cube at all whatsoever. The blue would be my face until I solve the cube. Now I'm going to do the right, I'm sorry, the left aug. Now, it may not be solved, but you need to do the right aug five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the blue is still your face. Now you just need to do the left alg five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now, this is another instance. It was, um, you're going to have to do the 1, the 1, the 5, and the 5 one more time, and you should have a solved cube. It's the same thing if you didn't have any of your edges solved. So, like, let's say if this one was a green, and then that one was a blue, and you have no edges solved, um, then you would uh, have to do the 1, the 1, the 5, and the 5 again. And the same thing for this case. Let's do it. 1... One. Now we're going to do the right alg five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now I have to do the left alg five times. One, two, three, four, five. After this, you should have a completely solved cube. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching.